Cancer to your February 26th through your March 2nd reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new. Welcome, welcome and cross watchers. Guys, it feels like it's going to end up a very busy month. I don't know why. I just feel the hustle and bustle coming in for March for you. Uh, could be booking a lot of schedules, keeping yourself very busy. Just feels like this month is going to be moving a lot faster for you. And it feels like it could be starting right now. You know, it's not starting now. Then get ready for that hustle and bustle coming around the first of the month. Um, just feel like things are headed your way. Okay, so best message for the beautiful Cancer. Yes, but along the way will be obstacles and challenges to get to what you need, right? Ooh, I do. It does feel like you do have some harmony going on over here as you are in the waiting game for that situation. But you got your third eye open over here saying I can see clearly through the situations, through the communication. So going to have a lot of communication this month. Um, let's see what's going on over here. Hustles and bustles, yep. And it's choose wisely. So you're going to have a lot of decisions going on. That's seven of cups. So you're going to have a lot of cups to look at, a lot of opportunities coming your way that's going to keep you, I'm telling you, keep you busy. Um, whether it, you know, it's through this harmony of this love, this relationship, plus work, plus this, plus that. I don't know. It just feels like you're kind of being kind of pulled in a lot of different directions. So, but you do have some obstacles and challenges to get through when it comes to the harmony over here because you have a completion. It does feel like this uh, will be accomplished. Bringing in a new cycle. I want to clarify on that because I'm getting two different mixed energies coming through. One is saying the obstacle and the challenge is to get to this person and we've been really having a hard time getting there and it finally is cycling through. We're finally together. And one is actually fixing the relationship we actually arrive at the same page the right spot and we actually are on this you know what i'm saying we actually can get along and complete the obstacle and challenge within the relationship okay so take that however that resonates with you okay because it does say that no matter what there is this stability and this structure going on within this harmony but yet you're still waiting for this other obstacle and challenge to come through so it feels yeah whatever the obstacle was with this relationship it had to do with something else do you understand so if someone made your was getting let's put it this way somebody was involved within your relationship a third party like mom dad friend however they kind of screwed that up okay and maybe you're still having problems with mom dad whatever right maybe they lost their job and it's still you know it caused an upset Right? We're not bringing in enough money. However it is, it does feel like you're completing this to get to where you need for the harmony right, of this relationship with this other person. But yet the obstacle that caused the breakdown, that caused the problem, is still running around. That's why you have obstacles and challenges. right? So it's like, I've got my leadership and control back in this area, but I'm in the waiting game waiting for the other that obstacle and challenge to stop. Right. Absolutely. Because if that piece is still bringing in sadness, there could have been somebody who was careless with your friendship. Maybe they tried to go after your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they were careless with whatever. It just feels like careless. I, I, a user, I got in, into your business, something like this which it ruined this relationship, whether it's love relationship or platonic, it doesn't matter. It just feels like they were involved in something that was none of their business or shouldn't have been there to begin with. And now you've fixed it here, right? But you're still having problems with them. Okay. I'm trying to get the story straight. There's a lot of people going on over here. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Saturn Saturn. Capricorn is Saturn. <laughs> okay. Could be dealing with, I got a Saturn in Pisces, I tell you. Okay. It could be a Capricorn or a Virgo or a Libra. Okay. What you're dealing with. 
It doesn't have to be. Okay. And you have the third eye open over here, but you are knowing that you're going to have to cut through this. You're going to have to clear the boundaries with this other person to get past the obstacles and the challenges. So you fixed one area. Now you have to go after this other person to make them understand where your strength is. But you're not weak, and this isn't just some weak subject, guys. This actually really hurts, right? It actually hurt me. You guys, you know, you're, you're a jerk. I can't believe you did such a thing, right? So you're really going to cut through that and really speak your, yeah, speak your mind, speak your truth. Speak your courage. It could be a Leo you're dealing with who thinks, you know, that they're, you know, on top of the world, however. Um, but uh, this is overwhelming you, right? It just feels like when they're speaking to you, when you go to speak to them, they're going to actually divert the conversation around and confuse you. I just want you to know that. That's very manipulative. I just want you to know. And they may even be trying to blame it on this person over here. So like, like I said, if it was a friend who went after your boyfriend or your girlfriend, they're going to try to change it around. Like, well, they're the ones that came to me and did that. But remember, you are, you know, you're going to fix this. Right? So now you're waiting for them to speak their truth. As you're speaking your truth, you're waiting for the truth to come out of their mouth. Because right now, your intuition is open, guys. You know it is. Your third eye is open and your intuition is open. And it's saying, what you're telling me is backpedaling diversion. It's bullshit. It's not real. You're making up a story. Why don't you just be truthful? Because I already know the truth from the other person. And your intuition was open when that happened. You knew in your gut feeling and in your intuition that they were telling the truth, the way it all came together and the way you all fixed each other, right? And it was probably because they didn't really hold anything out. Now, that doesn't mean that people still don't hold back on certain things. Right. It doesn't mean that maybe they didn't tell all of the truth, but it was enough truth to make you understand that, you know what, that did happen. So, like, for instance, if there was a third party situation, they literally admitted that they laid down with that person. They may have not told you all the details. Right. But uh, thank God I don't want to know. Um, you know what I mean? It's like some things are better off not said. Right. Um, but they confess to whatever was going on. If you can confess to those type of things, then you know they're not telling lies, right? This person is confusing you because they're hiding things and they're making up stories. Absolutely. Yeah, their conversation has no direction. Definitely backpedaling, definitely disregard for your feelings and the consequences Disregard for this person as well. So not only are they discarding your feelings, but also the person who is also involved. Wow. So you have to choose wisely on who is your friend. And mind you, this could be your friend versus the boyfriend that, you know, who's lying. We don't, you know, every story is different. Your best friend comes to say, you know what? It's, you know, you know who it is. Okay, but however it is, it's going to cause a backsliding relationship because you cannot trust this person. They're acting foolish. You don't even want to tell the, you know, it might not even be that big of a freaking deal. And they're acting like it's the end of the world. And they're lying about it. it could be something so small. But, you know, some people, when they lie, they just lie about everything. No, I'm sorry, I didn't steal your stapler on your table. It was Joshua who did it. No, Josh said he didn't because, you know, he said he went and borrowed Mary's. So it wasn't Josh. Mary even said he went and did that. So stop lying. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It could be something so stupid. Why do people lie about the stupidest things? Right? Ah, so you're just telling me you're a habitual liar. Okay, got it. Wow. And then it could be from the biggest thing, as we already talked about. So no matter what it is, right, they're trying to make it to where there's no strings attached. They, they're trying to detach. They don't want to care anymore. So that's fine, right? So you're saying that's fine, third, third party. I told you there was three people involved. We already knew that, though, right? But it's saying that's fine. I'll just move on. I'll just move on until you can either tell me, yes, the truth about the situation, okay, or sayonara, because we need to work as a team. We need to build this. We need to know what the truth is. We need to know what's going on. 
the implications of the situation. How am I going to trust you if you sit over here and backpedal and lie to me? Like I said, even if it's the stupidest thing, it might even be something that happened way long ago and you're still hiding on to it and it's like the past and nobody, you know what I mean? And they've already come clean about it. I guess no matter what it was from the past anyways, right? That they're coming clean from, whether it was yesterday, four hours ago, or four years ago. But the whole point is, is why? Why? Why can't you free yourself and become independent and, you know, allow this obstacle to clear itself? Right? You have some kind of emotional insecurities going on about the situation, right? Because all you're doing is causing, right, disappointments for everyone. Oh, my gosh. And then you got the then you got the karma card coming on that says, don't worry about it because, you know, Saturn's coming in. You'll be sure to knock off those rose colored glasses during Pisces time for the next 2.5 years. And eh, he loves dealing with karma. So let Saturn take care of it. Ooh, and I said Saturn earlier. Saturn. Saturn. Let Saturn deal with it. Oh, you know, because they love, Saturn loves messing with the, you know, the karmics. If you guys haven't watched that reading, be sure to do so. Okay? Otherwise, you guys get the Wheel of Fortune. It's good luck, and everything's going to come in just fine. Even if you still have the obstacle and the challenge with this person because they don't seem to want to come clean, I say, in the end, brush it off, guys. Let it just wash away like water because, in the end, you already know the truth. Okay? And the truth will set your mind free. Till next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.